About 20 years ago, I worked for FMC for a little while in northern Nebraska, and the reason why I was there was to talk to farmers about corn nematode issues. Back in those days, there was a lot of furidan that got sold for corn nematodes, even more than corn rootworms, in continuous cornfields, and I couldn't really believe it because where I was from, in South Dakota, we didn't have corn nematodes, but they had them just crazy down in Nebraska, especially in the sand hills. Whenever you're raising continuous corn or continuous okay. single crop rotation, yep. where it's always the same crop, you're gonna build up every problem around that crop. And one of those issues was nematodes. And when you think about nematodes, whether it's corn nematodes or soybean nematodes, you can't really see them. They're just microscopic. They're well, very small. More than that, I think it's just the fact that when you test, you get varying results. So I've been in fields where they have soybean cyst nematode, just something fierce, and they'll send a soil test in and they can't find any nematodes. Why? Well, it's not like if you had a lake, you could say, yep, there's an equal amount of water everywhere. There's right. water everywhere, every spot. But in a field, you may have a problem in a hot pocket here and a hot pocket there, and then there's some ground in between that's perfectly fine. I don't know why that is exactly, but I do know that that testing has got to be really precise. You've got to get down to grid sampling to really find where those problems and are. And test right field. where the roots are and that kind of thing. I'm not really worried about do I have a ridiculous amount of nematodes or just enough to hurt my crop. What I'm worried about is do you have nematodes or do you not have nematodes? And a lot of times you can look at what you're doing, what your cropping practices are. You're not using insecticide and you're planting corn almost every year. You're going to have corn nematodes over time. Okay, as usual, Darren, there are two things that I'm going to have to disagree Absolutely. with. Absolutely. Number one is the insecticide thing. If I'm going out with Force or Aztec or Lorsman, I'm not doing much for corn nematodes. Counter is going to do a fairly decent job on some corn nematodes. That is a nematicide, but Force, Aztec, Lorsman, and a whole bunch of the other products are not. They are the, insecticides. Yes, and that's, that's right. They're insecticides. Yep. Now, here's the other thing. When you start talking about, well, I just want to know if you have nematodes or not. I, we all have nematodes, okay? If you have a field of anything and you think you don't have nematodes, you're wrong. Every field has some nematodes. It's just a question of do we have enough to hurt anything and do we have the right, or put another way, the wrong nematodes so it's a major issue in a cornfield. All right, so you look at nematodes, you say, oh no, here's one more thing I've got to manage on my farm. I look at it as, hey, here's an opportunity. We've been losing yield for years. Now I've got some things out there that I can do to try and stop that yield loss. Some of the new things that are kind of exciting are some of the seed treatment products that have come out, like Votivo, the Evictus system. I mean, there's a number of different things coming as far as seed treatments. There's more that are going to be coming out in the next few years. They're really kind of exciting. If I can put okay. something on the seed and manage nematodes. All right, so basically what we're trying to tell you here is you've got nematodes. We just don't know how many you have and what kind you have. And probably the only way you're going to really figure this out is if you do some trials on your farm with any of these newer products that are coming out, whether it's the Evicta or Votivo, or like Darren said, you'll see other new ones. Just do some trials, run some tests on your farm. I wish I could just give you a point blank answer or you could give me some information. I could say, oh yeah, for sure you need to do this, but I can't. And we're probably never going to with nematodes because as we've discussed, it's a spotty issue across fields. So again, just run some trials on your farm, then you'll find out whether these products will work for you or not. Well, crop rotation is one management solution, Brian. However, for our Weed of the Week, you may just want to let that spread in your fields because nematodes <laughs> don't like that either. Can you identify this week's weed? 